I'm not holding anything back. When I joined this program, there was nothing else, man. Mm -hmm. I did it all. I literally did every herb. I had the best diet. I worked out all the time. I meditated, focused on my sleep. I did ice baths. I mean, everything, but acupuncture, therapy, I mean, whatever you could do, because I have the time and resources to do it. I was Googling the shit out of it. I'm going to figure, I'm a, you know, I, like Mac Damon said in, in the movie Martian, I'm going to science the shit out of this. And um, none of it worked. I was just at the end of my rope, literally bawling my eyes out in here, just praying to God, like, help me. This is just, there's, uh, why me? Uh, there's no way out, right? So to now, to get into a community, then to see some movement. And that's what got me after a couple months. I was like, hell yes. I saw some movement. I was like, let's call it 30% better. I know you're not supposed to put a number on it. But when I saw movement and, and, and it was palatable, I was like, shit, if I stay this away forever, I'm good, man. I, as long as I'm back at ground zero, hell yes. And it's been just a a grinding, you know, it was, it was grinding. It was hard work, man. It really was. Those symptoms in the in, through my recovery journey i am 100 percent recovered from before i started this program 100 i'm going deeper than that i am going i'm, I'm tapping into stuff that's 30 years old i didn't even know i had anxiety now with the mindsets changing my my business my relationships with my family my girlfriend my my personal habits i have goosebumps right now literally an added value of this program is because of the mindset and the principles we learn here, it, it's, it's affecting every area of my life. My, my family notices it. My business partners, which is also my family, they notice it. They're just in shock. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. I have Jeff with me. Now, Jeff and I did a video about like seven or eight months ago. I will put the link up here um, and you could see what his progress was like the first two months. And so I'd highly recommend watching that video first because it'll give you a good idea of where Jeff was the first two months uh, on his recovery journey in the program. But now this is seven, eight months. So 10 months total really in his recovery journey. And so I asked Jeff uh, to come on the channel not only to share his story, but Jeff is also uh, a mentor in the mentorship team, and I am thrilled. He is so awesome. The team loves him. We, I love him. The members love him. And so I just thought he had a very unique perspective. And I asked if he could just come on the channel and we can just talk a little bit about recovery, his own journey, what he's seen in people, uh, just give you some stuff from his take. Uh, so Jeff, welcome. Thanks, Sean. You know me. Love it. Love yeah. it. Love to be here, man. Good, good. Thank you for having me. Of course. Of course. Now, for the people that don't watch the video, could you give us a quick recap of how did you fall in? What were your biggest symptoms? Um, and what kind of helped you? We'll dive deeper into like like your recovery journey in general, but what made you fall in? What were your biggest symptoms? What did you experience? Okay. The short, the Cliff Notes version. I don't even know if there's hey, such. Thing. Notes. I don't even know if there's such thing with me, Sean. You know how no, I, am. I know. <laughs> but you're bound to miss something. Like that's what if people ask me my story. I will never say the same story twice because it just it's so long. Uh, but you know, I. I uh, but give me your best shot. All right, man. Um, you just raise your hand, like you know, cut it, Jeff. <laughs> anyway, so uh, yeah, okay. I've I've dealt with anxiety for over thirty years. Um, I was in a, a car accident when I was in my early 20s. Um, I, I was recovering from a, 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 I was knocked out. I had some other injuries all in my body. When I got to the hospital, I was really scared of my, because I had a concussion. I was seeing my neurologist and he was telling me, um, you know, hey, you're getting better, getting better. But then I came in one time and he says, he goes, uh, man, everything you're explaining, you got anxiety. Well, he sent me to the, the next floor up. It said psychology on the floor when I saw it. I was like, or my 20s, I'm not crazy, man. I'm leaving. And I left. I didn't believe what he said. Fast forward, I struggled with anxiety for over 30 years, thinking I had something else wrong with me. Um, literally had ups and downs to my journey. Um, my, my my brother, he passed away like 10 years later. Uh, that kind of sent me down spiraling for a while, but there's nothing out there like this. Uh, and it has some you know, marital problems years later, had a bunch of kids, things like that. But anyways, about a year ago, year and a half ago, I would say, um, I would say almost two years ago, I fell in a cycle before I got in touch with you. And uh, 
um, I was sitting on, I lost my brother, Bob. He passed away. My mom passed away. I had another brother become, um, diagnosed with stage four cancer. Uh, another brother, he has a uh, so little dementia that he was dealing with. So, I mean, it's just everything was going on. I had some pretty bad lifestyle habits. Boom, fell in the cycle. Dealt with major dizziness. Um, God, I felt like I was dying. Health anxiety, every everything you could possibly have, every intrusive thought, DPDR, dizziness, um, God, internal vibrations, heart palpitations, everything. Went to the doctors, did everything I could possibly do uh, to try to figure it out. Um, got therapy and what have you, and then uh, jumped on you, saw you on YouTube, and I said, you know, these guys got it. You know, they, or I could tell everything you said made sense to me, right? You, you, you were, you were offering the the blueprint at the time. The blueprint came up, and um, I was like, you know, I'm gonna do this. Uh, you were selling it or something like that, so I, I bought it. Man, it really made me feel good. I got one actually, right here. I got like five of them, I think, or so. I had like people with them printed up. I bought it and it really made me feel good. So I, uh, um, I thought I didn't need to get in with your program. I'll just watch Sean's videos and I'll do that. <laughs> then uh, that didn't work out so well. And uh, so anyway, so I got with, uh, I think it was one, one of your um, onboarding specialists or one of your guys and uh, joined the program and uh, been an amazing ride ever since. You, you crushed it, man. It was so good. Um... And uh, yeah, man. So like the first two months, I remember we talked about it. And one of the things that stood out to me about you that I think all the member, the mentors really caught on. It's like, dude, this mindset he has, this enthusiasm it is like, is amazing. And from my personal, uh, I, I've seen this happen before where like people come in, they're super extra enthusiastic and then, you know, as the recovery journey moves on, that enthusiasm sometimes dissipates because the journey's longer and stuff. And so I was very interested in looking at you because I was like, oh, here's another guy. Let's see what happens. So we were going through the recovery journey and the enthusiasm just never, ever died. And then I think that's where the mentors, I don't know if it was Mirka or Shiv or Kaylee or who it was, but they're like, yo, this guy he's something special. Like he would, he brings a different energy that I think can complement the team really, really, really well. Um, and so how has your journey been since the last time we chatted, like let's say eight months ago or so, I think it was like seven, eight months ago. How has that been? Well, has it been since then? Um, you, you caught me up. I think it was like a couple months in something like that. And I had a tremendous amount of, uh, movement i still had a lot of symptoms and what have you but i was heading in the right direction since then gosh it's been um it was uh, a bumpy progress so to speak uh it, it, it i was always moving in one direction but you don't feel it uh type thing it's just it's a wild ride uh, coming through anxiety but uh at that point i i was i had, I had learned a lot of the what do i say the alarm process, I had really wrapped my head around that, right? And I, I was seeing a lot of movement, even though I had a lot of symptoms, I really embraced that portion of it. But then as I moved through the the, the mentorship, I got more of the mindset part of it, of just uh, being in for the long haul. And uh, uh, it, buying in the community was massive for me, being a part of the community. Because when I first found this, or was searching, or I found you, I was looking for people like me. I truly was just, I want to talk to somebody who knows this because I went to a therapist, spent probably 10 grand on her and had zero movement. I'd feel good after I talked to her. Okay, whatever. But she never, there's no execution plan. I, I was waiting for like the, the, for me to advance and it never happened. <clears throat> and so I, I really wanted to start just meet people like me and there's no groups or anything, anything you'd find online would be people complaining and whining and stuff like that. So I actually put together this group of just, I, uh, I threw it out there on meetup. And I, and before I knew it, I had like 140 people looking to me for anxiety help. And I was freaking out. I'm literally crapping my pants. I'm holding this meeting in front of front of people. I'm giving a PowerPoint presentation on, on, on you know, and all I want to do is get ideas from people. 
right? So anyways, um, literally I was having panic attacks the entire time at DPDR that when I was doing this and the, you know, you'd have 15, 20 people show up. Anyways, I joined you and um, that community portion of it just brought it together for me. I do, once I realized there's so many, everybody, you, Merck, everybody's story that they, you all have been through it, hope was embedded into me was like hell yes because i my journey was 30 years literally i i just this was going to be me forever um i thought i had a grip on it but i'd really just crafted a life around anxiety uh, it wasn't I, I never really recovered i was just juggling with a, I, there were certain things i'd avoid because um just the only anxiety so um so getting into this community was just paramount for my recovery um, and that's circling back that was probably the biggest thing you know in the eight months being involved in the community the whole <clears throat> process you have from the beginning you know I, it, you have the three um what is the three pillars th that you have of there's i think it's presence right then there's um the other one what's the second one body presence Body, body presence. presence, BBP. Body, right, right. The, the, the body was the first time you, you learn what's going on in your brain, right? Okay, I got that. That makes sense with mechanically going on and you'd recognize some symptoms. And then the what was the second one again? Uh, uh, body, then technically it's presence. Presence, right. So presence, pretty much learning to move, right? You, resistance, you learn alarming, or, or resistance and, and, and response, right? And so you're kind of getting that, the hang of that. And then the last part, being um which was uh behaviors behavior which is for me i summarize it as like mindset right and that's truly for me it kind of fell in that order and i, and I think that's the way you laid up the entire program and how it is it worked perfect just okay i wrapped my head around the, the the body portion of it i got into the functionality part of it and over time the the mindset came um and then and now it's just it's not stopping it's just yeah. uh yeah. It's been great. And I, and I wanted to ask you, how are you doing right now? Like, how is your mindset right now? What are your symptoms like? Like, how are you feeling at this moment? And, and feel free to be as obviously transparent um, as you want right now. So I had anxiety for all these decades before this. And I'd go up and down and, uh, you know, through coping techniques, things like that, I'd, I'd go in and out of, uh, but I carried anxiety. And I, and I told people I had anxiety. I wouldn't drive. Um, on the highways. I just Ubered places. I could afford it. I figured, you know what? I'm just kind of a little handicapped. I don't drive. You know, I had, there's a lot of other areas I've found out since then, but I kind of crafted a life around that. Then um, came in your program. Now I have recovered. The, oh, well, then I fell into this cycle a year and a half ago, right? And this was nothing like what I dealt for those three decades. It wasn't just driving, it became every bodily sensation across the board whatever i was on was nothing compared to what i was in right got in with you you got in with you <clears throat> those symptoms in the in, through my recovery journey i am 100 percent recovered from before i started this program 100 i'm going deeper than that i am going i'm, I'm tapping into stuff that's 30 years old i didn't even know i had anxiety now with the mindsets changing my my business, my relationships with my family, my girlfriend, my my personal habits, I have goosebumps right now. Literally, an added value of this program is because of the mindset and the principles we learn here. It, it's it's affecting every area of my life. My my family notices it. My business partners, which is also my family, they notice it. They're just in shock. Uh, um, almost they knew this part was in me. Always believed it was there. Getting emotional. Um. And it came out. And here it is. Yeah. So sorry, I got, I got a little got a little show. Didn't expect Not this to happen right it's now. But it was just true, man, that I they believed in me. They said, you know, that there's something special. You know, and, and I've been pretty successful and I've whether it been sales or business and what have you, but I was I had that always 
drafting me. I had anxiety. Now through anxiety, freeing that portion of it, I'm tapping into other things that is just, yeah, my life's just blowing up. Just truly, truly blessed, man. That's, that's awesome, man. That's great. How, um, sorry for the meltdown there for a second. No, it's okay. It's okay. Even now I was getting a little <laughs> emotional. It's totally fine. Um, I, I think it's great. I think just the realness and just being raw on this channel. I think that's, amazing. and I think that's it also, man. I'm just, I'm not holding anything back. When I joined this program, there was nothing else, man. I did it all. I literally did every herb. I had the best diet. I worked out all the time. I meditated, focused on my sleep. I did ice baths. I mean, everything, but acupuncture therapy. I mean, whatever you could do, because I have the time and resources to do it. I was Googling the shit out of it. I'm going to figure, I'm gonna, you know, I, like Mac Damon said in, in the movie Martian, I'm going to science the shit out of this. And um, none of it worked. I was just at the end of my rope, literally bawling my eyes out in here just praying to god like help me this is just there's uh, why me uh, there's no way out right so to now to get into a community then to see some movement and that's what got me after a couple months i was like hell yes i saw some movement i was like let's call it 30 percent better i know you're not supposed to put a number on it but when i saw movement and and, and it was palatable i was like shit if i stay this away forever i'm good man I, as long as I'm back at ground zero, hell yes. And it's been just a a grinding, you know, it was, it was grinding. It was hard work, man. It really was. You have ups and downs, what have you. But the inspiration I drew from this community, um, yeah, I, I, I have no words to express it, obviously. Yeah. I'm at a loss. How, uh, how has it been? Because now you're out of like a unique stage now where like you're helping others now. You're helping people in the community. What has been your takeaway? What was your experience there? I had the biggest epiphanies when I started helping other people. I thought I had every, I, I always say I understood anxiety really well. Helping people, I learned about how people worked. Like I was like, oh, but that's my thing. And I don't want to lead you on. I wanted to uh, ask, how has your experience been like coaching people? What are some of the things you've learned or... I coaching coaching for, for me has been because I can tell people where I've been, right? And, and a lot of people, re that resonates with them because they know exactly I've been just been right there because we talk the exact same language, right? <clears throat> um, but what, I've gone to the next level because now I care so much that I want to make sure that when I talk to these people, I, I'm researching even more about what makes us tick why this pro process works and just going deeper and deeper and deeper into it. So I'm just, it, yeah, it, it's just embodying me now the entire, the, the, to go on these different levels with these people. Um, yeah. If there's anything, the coaching portion of it is just opening up my mind for, further and further. Yeah, my understanding is just getting broader and broader. You get more of a, like a 360 view of it. And even though the, the, uh, the smaller view got me, I recovered. You know, just having that has just been fantastic. And, and seeing people learn and, and continually to hear the same things of we're all dealing with the same thing. We're all, you know, we all were in the same point, uh, had the, speaking the exact same language, you know, and then to see people's journey, you'd see them there, you know, the, the, the oh crap phase, you know, they're, they're really excited, like you said in the beginning. You know, hey, you know, I'm fired up. I did this program. Then they, within a week, they're thinking, oh, I really messed up. You're like, no, dude, you just began. You're actually moving, man. But, you know, they're, they're like, I messed up. I, I'm never going to get better. And they're like, no, man, you just started, man. Just watch. Just, just stay in the game. I know. I know. I think one of the biggest things is you, you learn the pattern of hardship. Like you see oh, yeah. people going through something difficult over and over and you see certain patterns. And it's nice to know because you know when you're going through something difficult, like you can connect with like any challenges you come up with, like you you experience because you help others. It's kind of like oh, like this is part yeah. of the journey, right? And and it's like that. It feels like you're not making progress. Sometimes I feel like you're going backwards. Um, and so just staying consistent with it. And and like I say, the thing that was so special about you, which was your enthusiasm. You have a certain energy that I thought complemented the team that I didn't think anyone in the team really had the same 
type of energy that you had. And then most importantly, man, you just cared. You just cared about everybody else. And that was like the biggest thing, Um, just to care. And and that truly what you're seeing is what you, okay, I'm not, I'm not this guy. I'm I'm a pretty outgoing person, but I'm not like, Oh, Jeff, the motivator or something like that. It's not, it's not what I'm known as. So, uh, you're seeing pure passion about something, you know, the 30 years of darkness you're in, you know, and I had ups and downs, what have you, and I had career expansions and contractions and kids and marriages and what have you. But you look at behind me now, I just am so, that is sheer love and passion of just, because when you're in that place, and if someone tells you you're going to be here, you can get from here. That's just the elation is what you see. It truly is it's just, um, I, I got n- nothing but, uh, great energy and feedback and, and excitement for everybody that, that you're there in the right place, man. So, yeah. So the core of that, my statement is that God just, uh, you're just seeing my passion for it. I truly love it. I have sales guys. I ain't like this. I have a team of 15 guys. I am that they would, if they saw me right now, I said, why don't you do that with us, man? I ain't that fired up about it, man. I'm, I'm this fired up about this. I, tr- I truly am because w- when you come from there, you know, I've been liking this sometimes with people going through this. It's, you know, I look at us, only we understand the language with each other. No one else gets it. You try to talk to other people. I try to explain to anybody, my family member, my mom, and they, and they try to, they love you and they, you know, try to figure it out. But then you get somebody that you actually understand your deal. Then uh, uh, you're able to connect with these people and, and go through it together. It's like, it's almost like fellow soldiers that, that endured a difficult, difficult campaign. You may not have fought side by side together, but you remember the battle of the balls or whatever it is. Yeah. You were there, brother. I mean, you, you, I, you become brothers and sisters, even though you don't know each other. And uh, I, I uh, oh no worries, man. I um, yeah, I think, like I said, man, I'm just really, it's really awesome to from create something like this at a time where I didn't know if it was gonna work, and I thought it was so. At the time, it was really scary, right? Because like the idea was so bizarre that like it just I had so many people tell me it wasn't gonna work, and I said I'm gonna do it anyway for it to work. I would say, and then also just like bring people like you and gravitate towards this. Um, it's just it's dude for you to go through. Okay, I'm assuming you're similar to what I tried and failed. That you you're like you were in anxiety. Right? And you start a program and uh, to to get out of it, and and you crafted a an amazing program that all the principles are tested and tried and through. And the great thing about you is that your your mind's open to everybody. You're not you don't come in and say, "Hey, we're doing this, this, and this." Move you know, move forward. It's a collaboration, you know, of of, of like minded people sharing sharing ideas, and you're open to everything. Yeah, okay, you truly are, and, I, and that's your gift. I think has made this and, and you, especially when you surround yourself with everybody that people that have reco- recovered, it, it is based off of also scientific proven principles. You, you've assembled the best of the best. And um, w- with your business presence and your, your demeanor and the way you are, you know, I know that's why this has been so successful and why you see people recover. I've seen hundreds of people recover, watch them. Yeah. Either recover or recovering, or they're in that process. I yeah. even say active recovering. That's a win, man. You know, so many people are just wanting, when do I get out of it? Man, even when you're recovering, it's better than where you were. You know, you might be, you know, you're you're pretty far in your journey. It, it's a great thing to be a part of because you're not back at, you know, where you were. It, it's like an extension of the journey, right? At first it was like, I'm stuck. I don't know. I was struggling for a while. Then it was like, okay this might work. This got me so far. Okay. Keep going. I managed to get out. And then the fear was, what if I fall back in? So I waited a long time before creating something like this along. Number one, I didn't even, I I didn't even have the imagination to create something like this. I was just like, I would love to do this, 
but this type of career path doesn't exist. Like this doesn't fall into like mainstream, like career paths. And then I was like, why don't you just create your own? And then I was like, let's try it. And then it started off as me. And then what, what I, what I think that motivated, what, what I think really helps is that I don't think this program has anything to do with me. I think it actually has to do with the ideals, like everything that we concluded on a recovery journey, there's certain principles. Right. And if you can make that the North star, you will attract the right people. Like Kaylee, for example, Kaylee never reached out for coaching, nothing. She was already better. She just happened to find a YouTube video of mine, joined my Facebook group, the free one, the, the public one. And she just started helping out. No, I didn't ask her. She didn't know me. And I couldn't have attracted somebody like Kaylee unless like it had to do so with something bigger than like, than myself. Same with Mirka. Mirka was just like, uh, she was helping out of the Facebook group for free, like for just, just to help because it was, and, and then you coming in and then, you know, you following that too. So it's been, it's been amazing because it was just something that I was like, I'm just going to do this. And here's like, here's our values. Here's our North star. And I just think that brings in the right people. And I think that helps with, um, that's why I'm so open to changing and stuff like that. I think it's, to me, the answer is the same. And I think it is for everybody, which is we just want to do the best thing for, you know, the member, the client. Sometimes well, I reckon, have, and, I reckon, and I recognize that it's not. Yeah. And, and sometimes we have to do things that they don't want. I think that's the most interesting part. It's like, we have to do the right thing. Right. And so sometimes the right thing and what they want are two different things. Right. Ironically right like they don't yep. want to be uncomfortable 24 7 yeah and yet, that's what they need and you know sometimes they need to have skin in the game and so it's it's having that north star and i think uh yeah i think and then like even you're saying here you got people that recovered that's what also makes you different than other avenues for recovery of actual you know whether it be a psychologist or something like that that you've got someone that has lived the life and recovered. And yeah. then you continue to surround yourself that other people have recovered under the same process. Yeah. And I, feel about- like what, and I feel like what we experienced was so humbling <laughs> in so many oh, ways. Yeah. You know, like I was, I, Jeff, I'm telling you, I was convinced I wasn't going to be able to have a normal life. Like I just, having a normal job seemed so far away and it was just like once I got I was like oh my god everything else is just a win everything else is a bonus everything else is a bonus so like that kind of keeps um I feel like that kind of keeps all of us like open to new ideas and Jeff you know this behind the scenes I've decided to do things that turned out to be wrong and then we had to pivot Like I was like, this is how we're going to do it. This is why here's my logic. We'll do it. And it won't work out the same way. And I'll be like, all right, Mirka, you were right. You know, okay. Kaylee, you were right. Jeff. Okay. I see your point. Okay. Let's adjust. And I just think it's just like, I think we're all just wanting to do the right thing and doing the like, and And how can you go wrong with a principle like that? Yeah. How could you go along with the foundation of that? And I, I think you, you said something, if I'm going to echo it a little bit was, you came in as, and you, you're kind of humbled and you, you treat this whole organization that way from the person that just signed up. I remember I got a welcome video from you from, yeah. from day one, from personalized to Jeff. And then you um, all the way up from uh, to the people, but that, that Prince for you, the humble that you, you, you know where they're at and you, you and you, you're helping somebody. It's just, I don't know how I don't even know how to articulate this of that you, you have assembled. So it's going to move in the right direction. It's in the right spirit. It's in the right heart, you know? And um, yeah. I, I've always hoped that there was a lot of alignment in who we are and what we do and how everything is stronger. Where like alignment for me has been really big. Like just staying true to your values and being aligned and having it make sure it's a win-win for everything. And so, dude, I just think you have such a bright future. And like, I just think you're, I'm so glad. Like, I just think to be this 
way, you know, I'm 58 years old, you know, when you find you hope you could do something you know, that you're passionate about. I have the opportunity. I think when Shiv and you offered said, Hey, do you, you want to stay a coach? I, I cried like a baby. You know, I truly could. I love this, uh, the community because I, I know where we came from. And if I can do anything to help anybody else, hell yes. Um, what a great thing to be a part of. Yeah. And like I said, I think I just see your role growing more and then you just, you kind of being like the the leader in a lot of these things. And so that's, it's kind of I love how I'm called the hype man. I ain't never been called the hype man. <laughs> no, no, Jeff, Jeff's a hype man. Now I'm, I'm not know the hype man. I'm like, well, I guess I'm kind of hyped, you know, I got kind of fired up about it, you know. Yeah, there's a lot of passion. And for I feel it's very evident seeing the passion in you. Sometimes when you're doing this for a while too, like it kind of like, you're still passionate, but it, it sometimes doesn't like show the same way. Right. And, and so, but you are like, I think that's part of your personality too, though, right? Which is so refreshing, right? Like, I think it's very different than some other mentors who express it a little bit differently or have like other strengths. Like, I find Kaylee to be extremely calm, extremely scientific. Yep. Merka is very, she's kind of like you, uh, but she's also very direct. Yep. She and I need efficient. all those, and, I, and you need all those flavors. You, you truly do. do. You, 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 you go in, you think, oh, this is the, the, you try to pick a mentor, like, okay, this is my guy or my girl. Then as you, as your journey goes on, you say, no, I need this one. You need every flavor. You truly do, yeah. not one. Heather is very nurturing, you know, yeah. she's, she, and then Shiv is motivational. And then you are like the, the hype man. You know? and I, I wouldn't say a hype man. I would say maybe like more like, Take you're it. also, you, you have a lot, you, you have a lot of the qualities of like Mirka and Shiv combined, I think a lot of ways, but you also are your own unique thing, which is like so great. And it's so, I feel like the team is so good at what they do now that like, I find it pretty hard for somebody to come in as a mentor on the team. I think they have a really hard time. They can, because it's just the team operates at such a high level and you are part of the team. Like I look at you as very high level. Um, I look at you as somebody that's very dependable. Um, and uh, I know like people watching the channel and like, we're talking more internal stuff, but yeah, dude, I think it's been, it's dude, it's been awesome. I'm so glad you're part of the team. I know. Well, no, and I think this is total, you're seeing total passion. You're just seeing a recovery of the beauty of it. That, and like you said, I, well, I didn't think I'd ever fully recover. You know, I, I even got to a point where I really didn't care. And I think in my two months, I'm like, good, if I'm whatever, uh, I, I can have a little bit forever. Never thought I'd be where I'm at. And I've even said one time to somebody else that I would feel like I'd be a, uh, I could be a superhero now because the, the principles, behavior patterns, the mindsets that we're learning, the, the high level thinking that you get out of this is a, like an ancillary benefit. Um, wasn't even expected. Didn't expect any of this at all to be where I'm at today. So super, super grateful. And uh, yeah, I mean, what's you uh, so excited to be part of the team also, but I love, and I think when I came in, I was really, really nervous as a mentor. I just wanted to do the right thing. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to somebody come in and I say something stupid and you know, or whatever, just, you know, I don't want to hurt nobody or anything like that. You know, so I, I, I care about every, every one of them so much that, uh, yeah. No, you, like, you know, you, you have the team supporting you, any sort of things we could always fix along the way. And I think, uh, no, I mean, like your heart's always in the right place and whatever techniques or like tools, like as a coach, like we all had to pick that up on our own too, right? Like we, we never read like a coaching, we just knew where the person, we knew what they were going through. We knew what to do. It was just about being more relatable and then like taking them to the next level and you did great, right? And I think it's kind of like but it's not it's not like a, a structured you've structured it, but at the same time we've learned you seem like as developed as you went because you have people that have coached that that went through it. So then you kind of adapt with each person. You truly you're recognizing the journey where they're at, what helps you, because that's what you're doing. You're sharing this helped me. I use, I use this and you're able to communicate that to somebody because when you're an island on your own, not a part of it, you're searching for someone to tell you 
whether the symptom, you hey man, I'm dizzy, but it's not really dizziness. Um, it's almost like, you know, I'm on a rocking boat or whatever. You, you explain it. And if that person didn't explain to you the exact same way you did, you're like, okay, they don't have what I got. And you'd move on. And so I'm, and you'd continue that. Well, you can't get that here. We've all had every variation or whatever. So, um, I don't even kind of lost what my point is that I just think that that, Oh, the, that has helped the coaching style of being able to share that with somebody and reminding somebody the steps. You know, I think you, you've said it, the mentors say it all the time is it's simple, but it's hard. Yeah. And you just need someone to keep you there all the time. Or remember you got to do this. They're like, Oh yeah. You know, right. you gotta, you know it's, it's hope too. I mean, I would see, uh, you know, call it reassurance. Well, you, you're looking for reassurance. Well, it's still reassurance is kind of fun. Occasionally, you know, <laughs> have that feeling. Oh yeah. I got uh, someone else reassuring you a little bit. Um, th that connectivity here has just been, solid i could do this the rest of my days i could right now for where I, what i've done even if you booted me out now to be a part of this program and the 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 people that are um to see them recovering what have you the whole group you know when you see the it's almost like classes that come in it's almost like a graduating class you'll see certain people you see them and you'll see some just crushing it from day one and it, it generally is like you said it's attitude my attitude when i came in was I had nothing else. And you probably heard the story about was it Cortez when he went to go um, uh, what conquer the, the South America. They would roll up in ships, but uh, they'd go out and fight. And I'm pretty sure this is how it went down. And then a lot of times they'd retreat back to the ship if they started getting their ass kicked, right? Well, one time he lands and what he did when they got off the boat, he burnt the boats. So they had to go and they ended up conquering or whatever, you know. Sorry, we're talking about conquering, but I even have a and you see the flag up there? See the pilot? Yeah, conquer. Burn, I see that. Burn, it says burn the ships right next burn to it. The ships. Yeah. Burn That's the ships. That's a great motto. That is such a great motto. Um, oh, I 